Engine maker Pratt & Whitney plans to finish retrofitting the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter fleet with an engine fix by early 2016. Our target is to actually have the fleet complete its retrofit by early 2016. That was the commitment that we made and we're standing behind that commitment. Right now we're in the process of the retrofits. We've retrofit over 50 aircraft already. Uh, the entire test fleet is complete. And I'd say overall there was a tremendous amount of learning uh, that came uh, from the, the entire event, and be it technical learning, be it how uh, we and the services and the air, uh, airframe uh, work together uh, to come up with a fix. And what we really see was is that we were able to kind of turn this around fairly quickly. Uh, within uh, three weeks uh, we were back flying again. It took us uh, you know, roughly a little over 120 days to really get to root cause, understand what happened, and uh, now you know, we've already have the fix uh, both in the field and in production. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is the Pentagon's most expensive weapons acquisition program, estimated to cost almost $400 billion to buy more than 2,400 aircraft. And a big piece of that cost is the F-135 engine, the aircraft's main propulsion system. Uh, the picture that you see here um, is actually a photo uh, taken by the uh, Marine Corps uh, during the recent uh, OT-1 operational test one activities in the WASP. Uh, if you look at over 10 days of operation uh, with six uh, F-35Bs from two squadrons, uh, greater than 65% aircraft availability, 100 short takeoffs and 100 vertical landings, takeoffs ranging from 350 feet to 500 feet. Um, so all of that powered with our, uh, our B-model snowball propulsion system. You know, all systems today are much more capable of recording and, and providing uh, data information, right? So uh, when you take that data and you could go back and look at exactly what was happening when uh, something occurred, it really gives you some really good insight and lets you understand uh, what uh, root cause or how to maybe address an issue much more quickly. And uh, I think this aircraft in particular generates uh, a, a lot of information for us, and uh, we're looking forward to having that kind of data available in the future. I mean, it's a very uh, power-intensive machine, right? So you've got, uh, if you look at it, it just looks impressive. So you're talking about you know, over 40,000 pounds of thrust. And when you combine with the lift system, it really just does some things that other engines uh, and other propulsion systems just don't do. So very, very unique. Um, it's, it's unique in its uh, design. It's unique in its sound. Um, I think it's kind of unique in every way. And uh, I'm very, very happy to be part of the program.